getting back to page 165 okay in the bottom of the page Shylock okay it is not named in the bond Portia but what of that do it for mercy's sake I cannot do it it is not in the bond Portia then a pound of merchant's flesh is yours the law allows it and the, the court towards it so awards it uh, here um, the the of course the lawyer is trying to uh, uh, having a kind even of mercy towards uh, Antonio he's asking for a surgeon because if he's going to cut a pound of flesh uh, from his chest of course he's going to bleed till death but Shiloh this is what he wants of course he doesn't want him to be cured okay he wants him to uh, die in page 166 Shiloh happily crying out O oh, wise and upright judge come unto you prepare for my knife Portia wait a moment there is something else the bond says a pound of flesh then take your bond take the pound of flesh but in cutting it if you shed one drop of blood the lands and goods are by laws of venice taken unto the state of venice so uh, this is showing how Portia is clever and uh, this shows the role of woman at that time because at that time the women were marginalized and they don't have a great role in the society but by Portia's deed in the court showing how she's very powerful like man and she can do whatever the man can do okay she's very clever and intelligent to find something in the bond that dissuading Shylock from his uh, desire to take his revenge from Antonio so of course she uh, said that the bond is saying that you can take a bound of flesh but without any drop of blood this is not written in the bond Shylock suddenly realizing he is beaten by Porch's wisdom deflates in his defeat I will take the money pay the bond thrice and let Antonio go Bassanio here is the money wait this is Porch of course there is no hurry Shylock shall have his justs he shall have nothing but the penalty but shed no blood no more and no less than a pound must be cut the exact weight only if it is not the exact weight you are condemned by the laws of Venice to die and your wealth will belong to the state Shylock give me the money and let me go of course he surrendered because he found that there is no way except of taking the money and getting away but here uh, Portia again is very clever because you said that you didn't show any kind of mercy so I'm not going to give you the money also you are going to uh, get out from the court without anything this is what Portia's want um, then Bassanio I have it ready for you here Portia calling out and causing her hands Shylock refused it in open court he shall have only just and his bond so he refused the money at the beginning so he doesn't have the right to take them now Shylock shall I not have my money Portia I have another hold over you you plan to kill one of the citizens of Venice and so Antonio will now have half of your wealth the other half will go to the state 
So this is the revenge. You uh, plan to kill Antonio. And now Antonio is going to take half of your money. And the other half is going to go to the state. Duke, that you may see the difference of our spirit. I offer you your life. Half the wealth belongs Antonio. The other half comes to the state. Portia, what mercy can surrender him Antonio? Antonio, I am content to have one half of his goods upon his death. He shall leave his estate to his daughter and her husband. This is what Antonio's ask, okay, asked for. He asked for uh, uh, leaving all his estate and money to Shylock's daughter, uh, Jessica, and her husband. And this is a very good revenge. Portia, are you content? Shylock, I'm ill. Let me go home. Send the contract after me. And I will sign my riches over to my daughter. The trial is ended. And everyone leaves the court room. Okay. Um, here we can see that, um, of course, after uh, uh, the trial, we can, from, un uh, from the very beginning, we can understand that Shakespeare was truly blamed by the critics to show the Jewish people by such a kind of uh, uh, bad behavior or bad manners like Shylock and at the same time he's trying to find a kind of comparison between uh, the Jewish and the Christians uh, and even by the Duke in page 166 he said that you may see the difference of our spirit our spirit here it means uh, the Christians spirit he is trying to show the difference between the Christians and the Jewish and this is a, a kind of discrimination so uh, this play was truly criticized and severely criticized by the critics to show the Jewish by this way okay and to show them um, or to make a kind of discrimination showing the Christians and the Christianity is superior at that time and the Jewish people are truly uh, cruel and uh, they have to be treated by this way and it's a kind of acceptance from the beginning for Antonio's behavior towards Shylock okay because Antonio from the beginning is trying to humiliate Shylock and uh, uh, Shylock is trying to take his revenge by the contract or the by the bond but also Antonio doesn't have the right to do so so even Muslim Christian or Jewish they have the right the total right as any citizen in any uh, land so uh, he doesn't have the right to humiliate or insult him okay in page 167, Bassanio and uh, Portia are going to meet face to face. So Bassanio to Portia, 3,000 ducats we were going to pay Shylock is yours in return for your skill and knowledge. So Bassanio would like to uh, reward the lawyer giving him the 3,000 ducats in return of his uh, 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 saving to uh, his dear friend so Antonio will forever be in your debt of course he is going to be in debt because he saved his life Portia I neither want nor need your money I pray you know me when we meet again I must take my leave Bassanio I beg you take some payment for your services you saved Antonio's life I insist you take payment Portia, if you insist, I will take something. Antonio, give me your gloves. And Bassanio, I'll take this ring. This is what Portia has asked, asked for. She uh, asked for the, uh, Antonio's gloves and taking the ring from Bassanio. And you know that 
this ring that Portia gives to her husband, and this is a kind of a test to Bassanio, of course. Bassanio, this ring, um, Alice, go, uh, good sir, it is worthless. Portia, I will take only this. Bassanio, I will give you the most expensive ring in Venice, but not this ring. This was given to me by my wife, and I swore I'd never remove it. Portia and Arissa turn angrily to leave. Antonio, my lord, Bassanio, let him have the ring. Your wife will understand. Bassanio gives the ring to Gratiano. Overtake him and give him the ring. We will leave for Belmont in the morning. Okay, so uh, they gave the ring to the lawyer. And Portia is making the ring a kind of a test to her husband. Okay.